Uh, today I want to talk about time constants for capacitors and uh, you may not find this too interesting but it does come in handy if you're designing electronics. So a time constant means that it's the uh, time it takes for a capacitor to charge to uh, two-thirds of whatever power is coming through the circuit. Okay, so I'm going to draw a very simple time constant circuit and uh, we'll start with uh, We'll start with VCC. Uh, let's put this at 9 volts. And uh, we'll go down to a resistor. And then we'll go down to a capacitor. And that goes to the other side of the battery. Now, this uh, resistor, let's put a value of 2.2K ohms. And the value of this capacitor, let's put it at 100 microfarad. Okay? Now, time constant means how long will it take this capacitor to charge to two-thirds two-thirds of VCC okay VCC is this nine volts All right. so uh, <clears throat> the formula for that is time equals RC okay R is the value of the resistor this is R and this is C, capacitor, resistor. So 2.2K, K is uh, Greek for 1,000. So 2.2, 2,200, okay, is the actual value uh, in longhand, 2,200. Okay, 2,200, but it's actually... Uh, in shorthand, it would be 2.2K. So the value of R is 2,200. So, so far we have uh, time equals 2,200, okay, times the value of C. Now, C is 100 microfarad. Now, microfarad, again, micro is the Greek letter meaning million. Okay, so... Um, 100 microfarad means that it's a 100 millionth of a farad. So, in order to change, this has got to be changed to farads, not microfarads or millifarads. It's got to be changed to farads. In order to do that, you have to take one, the value of the capacitor, 100, times 10 to the power of negative 6. Okay? Now, for those of you who don't understand this part right here, basically all that means is take the decimal place of the 100, which would be at the end, and move it over six times to the left. So that would be one, two, three, <clears throat> and so far we would have 0.1, okay? And you have to move it over another three times. So every time you move it over, zero, that you put a zero in front of it, so now it's here. That would be four, five, six. So the decimal place is in here, is here, and you would add another two zeros in front of it. Okay, so that's all it means. Ten to the power of negative six means move it over to the left six times. So the actual value in farads, 100 microfarads, equals point zero 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 one farads. Okay. Now, <clears throat> now that we have our value, actual value in farads, you can put that value 0 0.0001 in here. So that would be 2,200 times 0 0.0001. Okay. Now, if you multiply that, that will give us. Uh, let me get my calculator out here. Just give me a sec. And that will give us um, 2,200 times 0 0.0001 equals 0 0.22. Equals 0.22. That would be seconds. Okay. <clears throat> now, after the decimal place, that's your tens units and hundreds, tens, hundreds. So that means that when the value 
of the resistor, when the supply is 9 volts, the resistor value is 2200 ohms, and the value of the capacitor is 100 microfarad, the time it takes for this capacitor to charge to two-thirds the value of 9 volts <coughs> would be 22 hundredths of a second. Now, if you uh, want to make it easier to read, you just move the decimal places over three, three places over. That would be one, two, three. You added zero, okay? And that would make it 220 milliseconds. Oops, milliseconds, okay? Or if you want to move it over six times to the right, that would be 0.22 and you would go one, two, three, four, five, six. So you would add a zero, 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 and zero. So that would make it uh, three, three, and one, two, three. That would make it 220,000 microseconds. Okay, so it's either going to be 0.22 seconds, 220 milliseconds, or 220,000 microseconds. So they all mean the same thing. <clears throat> now, where does this come in handy? It comes in handy when you build a circuit such as a timer circuit. For example, let's build a little timer circuit, 555. Okay, you have pin 8 and pin 4, the reset pin. They all connect together. So this, this gets powered. 9 volts. You send this through a resistor, potentiometer, and that goes into pin 7, discharge, oops, pin 7, another resistor, this would go into pin 6, this goes into pin 2, number 1 is grounded, number 5 is not used, number 3 is output and here would go to a capacitor. Now, whatever value you choose this capacitor at, let's say you chose this capacitor at 0.01 microfarad. Let's say you chose this resistor to be 1K, and let's say you chose the potentiometer to be another, let's say you chose this potentiometer to be 10K. <coughs> now, if you were to uh, <clears throat> move the potentiometer all the way to the top end, okay, you would have the full 10,000 ohm plus the 1,000, that's 11,000, so that would be 10 plus 11 plus the value of C. So the formula would be uh, time equals 11,000, 11K times 0 0.01, which is the value of the cap, okay, times 10 to the power of negative 6. Okay, so first you would figure out this value, and then you would multiply it by 11,000. So that would be uh, 11,000 times 0 0.01 times 10 to the power of negative 6. So again, you have to move the, you have to change that to farads. So you would take 0 0.01, move the decimal places over six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you put all these zeros. One, two, three. Four, five, uh, and uh, six. Okay, so you actually have seven zeros and a one. So this would be eleven thousand times point one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one farads. Okay, and that would equal. If you do that, I'm just going to use my calculator again. Eleven thousand times point one two three four five six seven one that equals uh point zero 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 one one that would equal point zero 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 one one seconds okay now if you move the decimal places over three times one two three that would equal point one one milliseconds or if you move it over six times, that would be one, two, three, four, five, six. You add one more zero, so that would be 110 microseconds. So with the values chosen here, 10,000 plus 1,000 is 11, and with the 0 0.01 microfarad, this capacitor will charge 
to two-thirds of the power supply every 110 microseconds. Now, that's for the maximum resistor, okay? If you move the wiper of the potentiometer all the way down here, you're basically bypassing the 10,000 ohm because the supply now goes through the wiper straight down across the 1K resistor. So now R, you can eliminate the potentiometer. So now R becomes, the time would be, instead of 11,000, it would just be the 1K resistor right here. So now it would be 1K plus, uh, times 0 0.01 microfarad. Okay, so that uh, it, this is just a way of figuring out what the time constant of the capacitors are when you build circuits like this, like this, okay? Instead of trying to experiment with uh, the values to get what you want, you can actually figure it out by formulas. And uh, so what this is basically telling you is that the output here will switch states every 110 microseconds, or more or less around that time. Okay, uh, because that's how fast the capacitor charges and discharges. So there you go. Hope that's understood. If you have any questions, please email me and I will try to explain further. Thank you.